Lowe now made a speech in Melbourne today to say that the Reserve Bank would need to lift interest rates at least twice more to ensure the, quote, scourge, his word, of inflation is contained. And he admitted that only months ago, last November, the Reserve Bank and other central banks had been caught, quote, flat-footed. Now, there are real risks here because we are in a cost of living crisis brought on by rising prices, creating inflation. And the answer apparently is the blunt instrument of interest rates. Who is to say this bloke is right? He's been wrong so often in the past. We don't have any evidence of what impact the previous five increases have had, yet the bloke's now talking about jacking up interest rates further, and he's unchallengeable. The Reserve Bank's independent. It has the final say. Low should go. Well, there are two pluses against the low negative. This week's Bureau of Statistics figures indicate our economy is in good shape. That is a plus. GDP was up in the three months to June. Household spending was up. Travelling at home and abroad was up by 37%. Everyone you knows in Europe, don't they? There was a 9% increase in spending at cafes and restaurants because people just want to get out. The second plus is that this new treasurer, Dr Jim Chalmers, I think is making more than a fair fist of things. He has warned that cost of living relief in the October budget isn't likely to provide extra income support beyond things like cheaper medications and childcare. He rightly said that responsible cost of living support must not add inflationary pressures, which of course would let this bloke at the Reserve Bank attack us all yet again. You see, he made a mess of it only eight months ago, so now he's gone nuts and keeps threatening more and more interest rate increases without the resources to assess the impact of those he has already imposed. But Dr Chalmers, one word to you, save our money and don't start providing taxpayer bribes to shift Australians to electric vehicles. I'll be talking to the world acclaimed Michael Schellenberger very shortly. This was the bloke who was a mad environmentalist, Greeny once, he's changed direction on climate change. He said, I changed my mind when I realised you can't power a modern economy on solar and wind. Are you listening, Chris Bowen? I'll talk to Michael Schellenberger in a moment. But he's the man who said on climate change, once you realise how badly misinformed we've been, it's not hard to feel duped. But back to Jim Chalmers and electric vehicles. Michael Schellenberger has written, quote, to replace the entire transportation sector with electric cars, you would need to go from 18% renewables, wind and solar, to something like 150%. He says, that's even if you thought you could store the stuff. So Jim Chalmers, I think you're doing a good job, but don't blot your copybook. Let the consumer decide. No more bribes to renewables or the buyers of electric vehicles. End the government spending. Stop wasting money on ideological and damaging nonsense. And on his track record to date, no one should be taking the Governor of the Reserve Bank seriously.